hello my beauties welcome to a new week i was supposed to have posted this two days ago but life happened so anyway um if you're new to my channel hey welcome i hope you consider subscribing and joining the gracie crew but if you are a returning subscriber you know that you are the real mvp so without much time being wasted let's get right into aloe vera making the aloe vera oil no blender and very little equipment needed all right okay so i'm starting by showing you what my previously made aloe vera oil looks like this is about the sixth seventh day so this is what it looks like and yeah i'm going to show you how to make it and how easy it was so i just want you to observe the color so that you know um why i'm doing this so i did not pick a very big aloe vera leaf and as you can see i already removed that yellow part that people complain is like the poisonous part um because this is not a very big aloe vera leaf i didn't have to um struggle a lot to remove that but in case you do have a big one i think let it sit in some water for a while and that should solve that issue but look look at how juicy my aloe vera is i planted aloe vera all over um our house i have it i have like about like four or five aloe vera plants and yeah i started growing them about two years ago because i knew i would want to use them in the future so we are removing the spiky parts and i decided to try out using a scissors today usually most people use a knife which is fine if you want to use that go ahead but as i said because um the piece of aloe vera i'm using is not very big so i thought okay let me go ahead and just um use a scissors Hey, yes um, as I'm removing this I will note that to make the aloe vera oil you really won't need a whole lot of aloe vera um, you might just need like a really small piece and yeah so this is my aloe vera I'm just getting rid of um, those parts there and of course making sure that my surface is clean we have to make sure it's it's clean um so yeah um i'm going to be cutting pieces of my aloe vera into um the jar and of course i just wanted you to see how juicy my aloe vera looks i mean come on let's let's appreciate how amazingly thick and nice <laughs> my aloe vera is I, I was i was just kind of showing up i think if you enjoy using aloe vera you understand you yeah i'm gonna just leave that there so i am cutting them into uh somewhat small pieces they don't have to be really tiny honestly as i said to make aloe vera oil you won't need um as much of the aloe vera as you would use if you wanted to make aloe vera gel um so even if you have just like a small piece of aloe vera it will still work it will still um, produce quite a good amount of aloe vera oil for you um, and honestly as I was cutting this I kept thinking I need to make aloe vera gel I keep telling myself I will make it but considering how fresh this looked and how I'm just I was tempted to rub some of it on my hair and at the end of it I actually um, took uh, uh, the, the some of the pieces before I put it in the, um, the next step which I'll explain and I kind of rubbed it in my scalp and it, it felt nice <laughs> um, but that's what the aloe vera looks like before um, we put our mason jar to heat up um, so I want you to observe the, the difference in the colors between the green the fresh aloe vera that we just put in and the one that has been in there for a while okay yes i'm going in with my oils next so 
I started with the spearmint oil which has been in my regimen since last year it is nothing new she's nothing new and I did let some of the leaves go into my oil because I did want um, some of the herbs as well to add some of the herbs I was using the next one is of course hibiscus and as well ever since I tried out hibiscus oil it's also been part of my routine since then and of course the next one that i'll be putting in is my clove oil so we just finished using you know or rather experimenting with cloves not long ago so yeah i'm also adding that yeah so um those are pretty much all the oils i used um because i already had some oil uh, made from the aloe vera so i'm just showing you here um for those of you who are interested to actually see that i have been using them okay like all of them and i actually need to make new batches for all of these um but they're still very useful even weeks and months after i made them i'm still able to make use of them so this is what our aloe vera oil looks like right now before i put it into um, before I use the double boiler method, so uh, this is why I really am enjoying using mason jars. They are making this process so much easier. So I'm just going to put my mason jar, <laughs> excuse me. So I'm putting my mason jar into a pot of water. I finally got myself a pot that I can use specifically for my hair stuff a few weeks ago and I'm so happy. And I left this in for about honestly more than 30 minutes, but that was on very low heat. And this is what our aloe vera looks like. So remember, how I pointed out the change in color so you can see um, that of course the aloe vera that was there previously at the sort of settled at the bottom is actually darker but you can see the one that we added is now changed to also a, a, a darker color than before um, so for me that's a sign that yes um, all those nutrients are infusing and infusing well you can also see residue from of course the other oils that I added and I must say it does not smell the best but the good thing is if you do not have any other fragrance oils like lavender oil um, to sort of like help with the smell I'd say with aloe vera um, oil the scent doesn't per se um, linger on although when you are using it you will smell it it's not extremely overpowering but yeah you will you will know that okay yes this does smell like fresh aloe vera but after like probably an hour or two the scent is pretty much gone and i like to use it mainly on my scalp because i realize sometimes i go overboard excuse me when i use it on my hair so I'm just careful to maybe use it on my scalp and I'm not using too much because let me tell you something. These cornrows you see, they took me a hot minute, probably about four hours and I thought I would be done in two, mainly because of the partings. I wanted them to be neat, um, but I'm happy. So that's why you see me not taking too much of it. I don't want to disturb um, my hair and cause, you know, frizz and and little hairs to start popping up so i'm just being gentle and careful to apply just enough and i will say because i added the spearmint a few i'll say like an hour or two after i was done i could feel that tingling sensation which i'm so happy that i decided to add the others and of course i wanted to show you what my corners look like so we can use this as a, sort of like a you know update when we're done thank you guys for watching Bye.